Okay, this one here uh, is not a whole lot different from the last one, except up here, I have 240 volts coming in in three phase. And I have a three phase compressor. The terminals are all, almost always, I've seen, have been T1, T2, and T3, rather than like a single phase where you got to start running common. So there will be usually three, sometimes two contactors, contactor switches that uh, control just the compressor. Now very commonly they'll use a single phase fans and these are both single phase fans so I haven't changed anything there. Uh, let's take a look at it with the uh, disconnect closed. Okay now we've closed the three pole disconnect here and we pass power to each one of these set of contacts. Now the indoor fan uh, motor is wired the same way as it was before. It just takes single phase off of uh, two of the uh, wires here. The condenser fan motor, which has to be energized at the same time as the compressor, is taken off of uh, this set of contacts and that set of contacts and it's single phase. Very commonly when you have a three phase unit the only three phase part is the prime mover which is a compressor. Uh, they do make uh, you know condenser fan motors and indoor fan motors that are three phase but they're not real common so very often they'll just use a single phase and just pull one of the phases to operate those fans. Okay, let's go ahead and start this up in the next one. As before, when we close the thermostat here, it passed power to energize the contactor here. In this case now, it's closing three sets of contacts, which is going to energize the compressor and the condenser fan motor. Uh, down here at the thermostat, the 24 volt again. We, uh, power passes through to the fan switch. It's in the auto position. Energizes the fan relay, which closes fan relay one and starts indoor fan motor on single phase again. And that cycles that on. And that's a air conditioning unit using three-phase.